Hey, y'all, I don't got glasses. I don't know where they at. Oh, there they go. They way over here, but I gonna put them on. What's up? What's up? What's up? Yes, 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 yes. Today I got some good old, good old, good old Chinese food. And it's real good. Even though I don't hardly eat like a lot of Chinese food. But you see what I got. Oh, yeah. Now I remember. Look at that. I mean, y'all can't see it. There you go. Oh, my, my, my sweet love, my darling. This is that, that chicken is spicy as ever. But for some reason, it don't hurt my stomach. And I have some ragoons. Hey, look. Yes. Wish I can hold it all up together because this stuff is heavy. Let's see. Can I do it though? Let's see. Can I show some love? I mean, y'all can't see that, can y'all? And I don't want to spill. Yes, there it go. <laughs> there it go, there it go. Anyway, today I went to the doctor's, y'all. Today I went to the doctor's and let me see, can I sit there? Yeah, could. Y'all can't even really see that Coke. I got a Coke, y'all. A Coca Cola. Y'all can't really see it, though. I'm going to do it like this. And so, I went to the doctors, right? And so it's been like two weeks since I had my surgery. And at the end of the day, I'm going to pray. I already prayed for I got on the book, but I'm praying with y'all. Thank you, Lord, for the food I'm about to receive. In the name of Jesus, let it nourish my body. And if you are here with me, you will have your own tray. But in the meanwhile, thank you, Lord, for the food I'm about to receive. Let it nourish my body. Amen. Hello, everybody. Come on in, y'all. Come on in. Because, see, Last time, y'all didn't want to come in because your girl was upset a little bit. But guess what? I had a premonition about this day coming. I had a premonition, Lord, let the, whatever it is negative, let it leave my situation. Let it leave my situation. I think I'm going to be a millionaire one day. <laughs> yes, today is Tuesday, y'all. And God has woke us up to see another day. But this is the, this is the thing, y'all. I'm going to take a little, a little bit of this food and um, I'm going to tell y'all what happened. Tell all my buddies what happened. Mm -mm -mm. You know what? You get y'all the first bite. I am so sorry. I got rice, mashed potatoes, chicken, broccoli, and, sp and spaghetti strings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That shit got spoon. Mm -mm -mm. Look, y'all. Right on. This joker right here. As a matter of fact, let me hold up two. This is good. Mm -hmm. It's also full of food. <laughs> You know what? I need mean, early. <laughs> What's up, my baby? I am eating. Thumbs up, y'all. Mm hmm. This is chewing, but it's just my mouth can't hold, handle all this food. But guess what? I'm going to get full. I'm going to ask y'all y'all want to come eat. Come on and eat with me, dog. I got enough on my plate for everybody. Mm-hmm. 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 Let me show y'all this plate again, because this plate is, is the bomb. This right here is Chinese food. And, mm -mm. y'all see it? But the thing about it is, it's a buffet. They have everything, like a, like a, um, 
um, buffet, um, regular buffet. It got some of everything in it. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you my little secret. There ain't really no secret. I went to the gym and they told me that I might have to have another surgery because when you get up in age, now you listen to this, y'all. So I hope y'all wear y'all glasses. I don't care if you want if you think you don't look right. Well, I'm sorry. Then y'all take the first bite. I'm always doing something here. Just go ahead. Get a little bit of the meat too. Come on. Come on, put it in your mouth. I'm gonna do it for you. You know, I feed my family. <laughs> anyway, they was like, and you know me, I'm like nervous. I'm kind of be you know, kind of wiggly a little bit because I was moving a lot, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, if I need more surgery, why come y'all didn't tell me that when I was under already? Because what what happened is is when I flat down, it makes it makes me go crazy if they try to wake me up. Because I can't lay flat on my back because it's like I'm finna choke. So I said, Well, doctor, tell me why y'all didn't tell me so y'all can do the whole surgery. He said, Guess what? We don't do cataract surgery. And you know what? Really and truly. Where do cataracts come from? I'm old as I am. I really don't know where they come from. Somebody said they just grow in your eye. So, you know, like I said, I can see like, you know, a little bit of front in front of my hand in front of me, but, you know, I can't see it clear. Still some block in my vision. So he, today he told me, she told me, she said, you got a cataract growing. So I said, okay, well, I'm going to see what God going to say because I don't, I don't want to go back under the night. She said, about three weeks, three weeks, you, you probably have to have another surgery. So, you know, like I said, though, my faith is strong, y'all. And I don't play when it comes down to my faith. And like I said, y'all, it, it, we all struggle. We all go through stages. But, excuse me, I still stay positive. I got to. I got to stay positive. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I got to stay positive. So, mm -hmm. I think it was the bread that was chewing. Hey, y'all, look. Look what else I got, y'all. Some strain beans. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this was just like a, a regular buffet. Now, mind you, I don't like to eat hot stuff, but this right here, together, we can throw down on it. We can get it in, y'all. But you know how God tell you, right? God show you like <clears throat> different things in your life as you get older, as you're doing his bid, as you're doing right by him. So he'll show you different things in your life, right? So I was like, you know, I'm crying. God, you know what? Why is this happening to me? And guess what God said? Why not you? <clears throat> mm -hmm. He said, Jesus died on the cross for us. He didn't say nothing. He was laid there letting him whoop his butt. Get him up to cross. Mm -hmm. I like these right now, y'all. Drop the mic. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day. Oh man, I'm like a kid in the candy stuff. Mm hmm So yeah. So I just I said, Lord, whatever your bill is, it's gonna be done. Mm -hmm. I don't wanna walk around here blind. Because it's, I'm telling y'all, I have walked in the ass of a blind person. I promise you, I have. All, all I seen was great, and one eye was already about to go in. I, I prayed. I've been praying and asking God, please, God, you know, let me just get one eye fixed at a time. Because when I had a surgery, my family don't even step up, come and see me. You know, something go down. Only time I, I mean, I had about 15 surgeries, and my family ain't been through there to say, is you going to be all right or not? But just one time. And I had that major surgery. I was thankful. Mm -hmm. So how everybody doing today? Everybody got their boots on and ready to party? Come on, y'all. Start living your life. Don't let nobody take you away from your life. Because mm -mm. I'm going to tell you why. Every time somebody try to take you away from your well-being in your life, you know, it makes you sicker. You know what I'm saying? You have to stay healthy in your heart. Because once you start, if you break up with your boyfriend, if you can't pay your license gas, if your home is an all right there, your spirit is all the way down to the ground. 
You don't know what to do. I'm talking about as females because you know we are the breadwinners. We are we are the breadwinners. We go if you got kids, you're gonna be a breadwinner. You're gonna go out there and you're gonna get it, and you're gonna see what you gotta do to get it. And that's just the way it is. But at the end of the day, you know, I had to rely on God and and, and ask God to show me out because I had failed. He had he, he been carrying me for the longest. Hey, baby. Mm, 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 mm. Girl, I'm going in. Hey, sister girl. Hey. What it do, boo? Don't let nothing. Ah. <laughs> What's up, sis? What's up, sister? <laughs> I got to eat this with my hand right now. Right now, sister. Mm -mm. You know what? I just feel deep in my heart, you know what I'm saying? That's my sister, Dalinda. She's been she been there for me through thick and thin. Yes, she have. I ain't gonna lie. I just like to bring it up because some people might get to acting funny thinking that such and such and such. I ain't gonna say what it is, but I'm gonna tell you just like that. Hi, sister. Give it to God. Give it to God. He will set you free. Hey, give it to God. Give it to God. And he will set you free. Come on. Come on. Y'all come on in. Come on in, y'all. Come on. Come on. Give me a thumbs up on my life. On my life. Come on, show me some love. For real. I mean, y'all might not like what I'm saying today. And what I'm what I'm really trying to get the point across is only the strong survive. And if you don't have no strong faith in God, you will not make it to the next level. Because somebody gonna knock you down. Somebody gonna try to take your place. Somebody gonna always be putting you down and talk about you. But guess what they did for Jesus? They talked about him like a dog, killed him, stumped on him, pee, and, and everything they could do to him, and then nailed him to the cross and his feet. For a minute, I said, "Is that Jacob?" You know what I'm saying? But okay, I'm gonna leave it like it is. But at the end of the day, y'all, I have been through the storms. I have walked. And what I just thought that you know, since my family wasn't there to a certain my, my sister over here, Dalinda, hi sister, she was there. Then I couldn't even get a can of paint. And that's just I'm just serious about it. I don't care who hit that. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? He always sent his angels to protect you and save you for whatever you needed you be going through. And this is the crazy part, y'all. I never really really spoke my mind and talked about nothing because I felt like if I said something, people would be mad at me and didn't want to, and didn't want to, um, Hey y'all, look at that fool. Oh man. And didn't want to, you know, really didn't want to do nothing for me or say, you know, come around and see me. But at the end of the day, y'all, God is the only family I need. He will send me sisters and brothers through Christ. I'm trying to tell y'all now I got some sisters and brothers that I'm crazy about. I love them all, but I'm I'm crazy about a couple of them to the point where we can we cannot see each other. We see that we be so in love, but at the end of the day, y'all, I had to accept Christ in my life. I had to let Jesus come on in because at the end of the day, y'all, I was lost. I, I keep telling y'all, y'all don't do y'all know what the feeling lost me? You know what I'm saying? When you got all this family and you got all this, you know, people saying they really care about you and they really don't. That's some hurting. That's some hurting stuff. And, and when God came to my life, I decided, I said, you know what, though, this I'm going to be set free from all the pain and all the suffering because I don't want to suffer no more. I mean, I don't even want you all to suffer no more. Accept God in your life. Put him on, put him where he need to be at in your life. I'm trying to tell you all things will work out so much better. See, I was I was me and my daughter. We had broke our crown one day, you know, because we couldn't pay our light bill. Well, I couldn't pay my light bill. She was a kid. And um I said, God, you know, I, I, you know, I, I can't. I'm, I'm my hands against the wall. You know, I got these three kids right here. My lights is gonna go off, and you know, I'm just telling you all from what I know. I'm gonna tell you right when me and my daughter and my kids got to praying. Let me tell you, we cried together and we prayed together, and God heard everything that we talked about. He heard everything, and let me tell you what He did. The next month, the the application I filled out to move in a house, a low income house. Until I can get on my feet right, came in the mail a week later. And the house I was staying in, and I didn't care if we couldn't pay the lights or the gas and all that because 
they had took care of everything for me. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. So y'all, in, in order to get something done, you have to ask and you'll receive. If you don't ask and you and you you will not receive, closed mouths don't get fed. You better ask somebody. Hold up. <laughs> I'm not <getting> angry. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Close mouth, don't get fed. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. God, I am trying to hold it down. This food down because you told me it'd be all right. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna repeat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hold up, y'all. I know y'all like this broccoli. Look at that. I'm gonna sing to my broccoli, y'all. Food, food, food. Come on in. Mm, 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 mm. Come on in. Come on in, baby. Come on in. Give the thumbs up, subscribe, and like. Mm, mm, mm. I promise y'all. I'm serious. With my lip. Hold up. I ain't with the mashed potatoes, y'all. This is like my taste buds ain't on the mashed potatoes. This has rice taste. Mm. See, they don't taste right. I mean, look right. Let me see how it tastes, though. Look at this onion, y'all. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I promise y'all. Y'all see me up in here eating right now? Before, I would even eat four spoons for the food. I wouldn't even, all my hair, my nutrition was leaving my body. I promise y'all, YouTube has opened up doors for me to even try to put food in my mouth. I was so depressed that I didn't want to eat. I didn't want to be around nobody. I just stayed in my bedroom and just praise God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Chinese food. I don't eat certain Chinese food, though, or Korean food. I won't eat it like that, but I will eat. The stuff that I got on my plate today. You ever seen the ragoons though? Anybody? You got a real ragoon. These are the real ones. Mm -hmm. I had got me 20 of them. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -mm -mm -mm. I had got me 20 of them. And so I decided that I was going to. I decided that I was going to move up in my life. I decided that if I didn't fight back now, I wouldn't be here to see another day. So, y'all, let me tell y'all now. All my hair is coming back. I still got ball spots and everything and spots and stuff like that. But I got enough to get some braids in it. And I don't care. It's already, it's already short. It's already falling. I'm going to get some braids. I promise you I am. And today, I just didn't feel like coming on. But I didn't want to let nobody down. I'm talking about my Lord, my Savior, my God. I didn't want to let nobody down because let me tell you why. If you don't do nothing for yourself and get out here and do something, guess what? You'll never make it. You can't keep, keep depending on people to start your day off for you. Cooking your food. Like my sister said, you know, B, this is your house. Get up and cook yourself something to eat. You know, she, she boosts me up. I'm telling you, that's my sister. And she boosts me up. Thank you, Dalinda. And she boosts me up. Yes, yeah, she's a good person. And, and, you know, all my sisters and family, brothers and sisters is good. Everybody good to a certain extent anyway. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? But I don't like disrespect. When a person disrespect me or put me down because they're in their own little ways, I would never talk to them again. I forgive them, but I walk out their life for good. I just can't do it no more. Y'all got to understand, y'all. I'm not perfect. And my videos may not be perfect like y'all. With the background and, you know, and the shapes and all that kind of stuff coming in. I just started. And believe me, as I go, I'm going to get better. So I'm telling all the ones who got a little family in they, on their on they channel. Come up. You know. If God got you here, he got you here to serve people his word. So if God got you there, if don't nobody come in your, come in your videos and see what you're doing for yourself. You know, we, we, we busting our tails getting out here every day. This is some hard work. 
you know, just getting up in front of this computer. You can't even see my food half the time. I got to get up and show it to you like this right here and put it on my shoulder and lean in. You know what I'm saying? See, the devil tried to destroy me. He put bumps in my face. He he made my eye. I had to get a surgery on my eye. He, he I mean, I ain't got no backgrounds like nobody else. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how to do the word and the letter and the songs to go with the video right before I come on. You know what I'm saying? But in due time, y'all was here where I'm at now. So y'all show me some love. Because I promise y'all, whenever I see somebody that I'm getting it in, I'm going to subscribe to your channel. I don't care. As long as you're doing what you got to do to make it, baby, I'm going to subscribe. And I mean that. I mean, I don't care who you are today. You're trying. And you want a better life. And sometimes, like I said, YouTube have made a lot of people better in life. Get new houses. It depends on how many subscribers you get. Yes, then that's true. Like I said, though, but see, God got me on this pedestal, y'all. Watch what God do for me, y'all. Because I'm not prejudiced to nobody. I don't want to just keep all my words for black people, white people, Puerto Rican people. I want to go infinity. I want everybody to hit, hit a word of God coming out of my mouth. You know, I'm not ashamed of nothing. What I do on here, I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed for what I do for God. I used to be, don't get it twisted. Now, I used to be embarrassed to go in somebody else's box and say something. But now, if you don't want me in your box, okay, I understand. But I'm putting a little, put a little uh, blessed word in your in your box. God is able and he is good and he's working to be praised. You got to believe and trust that. I don't care if you're in a relationship and you're just so bored and you so and you hate yourself. You know, why am I still here? Why I love this person the way I love this person? You think I should go that route or that way? Let me tell you something. Once you start loving God, anything else beyond God is irrelevant. You're going to do what you do. To, you're going to do what you got to do to make it. Everybody can talk about you and say, well, oh, see, I don't know why she like that person. I don't know why he like that person. But you don't need to know my, know my uh, secret or what's going on in my life. Matter of fact, get to know me and I will show you something better. But if you judge me by your own spirit, then you're going to think I'm the baddest person in the world. Just because I got a white background, I got, I'm going to got some stuff to fix it up to. I'm spending a little money, the, the money that I got to fix my, my channel up. But I'm going to need some help. And I ain't, I ain't ashamed to say it because whoever been here for a long time, I appreciate y'all. Because I look at y'all videos and it shows me a lot of stuff. And this is only the beginning, baby. This is only the beginning. I just don't like cold weather. I like it, but I don't like to go out in it because my body is so immune to that bone chilling cold and it tears my, rip my skin. I mean, it just really hurts me. So I really can't eat all this right here. I promise you I can't. Hi, sister. I promise y'all I can't, but I tell y'all what I can do. I can share it. Now get on in here and eat this dog on food now and stop talking about it. Everything else. I want y'all to eat. Here's some stream beans go. Get these stream beans. Get these stream beans. Quit playing with me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I believe. Yeah. I believe some of that stuff's full. I don't know. Well. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Look at this, y'all. Mm -hmm. You got to talk and keep moving. I'm a salesperson. Mm -hmm. You got ragoon. Ragoon. Mm -hmm. Let me see something. You know what? That's my witness. My nose always just stopped up and I come on in this corner. I promise you it doesn't. Mm -hmm. Anyway, y'all, just listen to my heart, y'all, and not my mouth. Just listen to my heart. I wish the best for everybody. I want everybody to have something in life. Keep on doing what y'all are doing and make y'all kids proud and y'all grandbabies proud. Get them out the gutter, baby. Don't let them live the way you live. Unless you live with a silver spoon in your mouth, a gold spoon, then okay, you good. But at the end of the day, only the strong survive. And that's all I can say. Only the strong survive. I don't care how y'all look at me, but I'm going to tell you what I And I need y'all to understand that. I don't pray hard. I just pray. And I leave it in God's hand. I told y'all I feel spirits already. And the thing about it is, 
to people that y'all know, y'all gonna always be on a on a live. The people that y'all see, y'all always gonna be on a live. But when somebody else is just coming in, it's just like we don't know nothing. But sorry, Charlie, we do. We know more than what you think we know. It's just that y'all computer wizards, and the ones coming in, we're not. But I'm not going to talk too much about that because I'm a positive person. I got 200 subscribe. Hey, y'all, give me five. I got 200 subscribe. And by the grace of God, let me keep them because you got some people that come right on in and snatch their subscribes back. And I wish I know who it was because I'll snatch my ass back. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, y'all. <laughs> but it is what it is. Anyway. Oh, hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. I want to ask y'all a question. How did y'all feel about me? How do y'all really feel about my situation I'm in today? I mean, how do y'all like my videos? Tell me something. You know what I'm saying? Speak to me about it. Let me know something. I just really want to know truly how y'all truly feel about me. Because like I said, y'all, I'm family. And I know people come to my lab and they, they leave me, you know, ups and downs and thumbs ups and all that kind of stuff. And that's cool. And I love it. And I love the subscribers. I promise you I love y'all family. But at the end of the day, y'all, I have feelings too. I have feelings too. And I feel like if I'm not following somebody's foot trail, then I'm not in the... In the when you can't afford what you can't afford, but you're doing what you can do, then that should be a thumbs up right there. My mother raised me right. My father was okay, but my mother raised me right. And and I, I just say like, like it's right here. But trust me and believe me, I love my sisters and my brother. I really do. But then I got my new YouTube family. I love y'all too. And it, it's not really hard for me to tell y'all this. But I want to know. If y'all gonna leave me something in my uh, description box, you know, a, a comment there, anything right there, and tell me what I'm doing wrong. Tell me what, tell me what I'm seriously, tell me what I'm missing. Because if I'm going God's route, I don't think I'm doing nothing wrong. But if I'm going YouTube route with the backgrounds and all that stuff right there, and if you can tell me how to fix it, I surely will appreciate it. I promise you, I will. This is a big pill to swallow, but guess what? I ain't no joke either. Mm -mm. Hey y'all, this is a big old bottle, but watch this. This is mine. This is mine, baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's cold. Got a lot of acid in it too. It got a lot of acid in it too. Hey y'all. Back to back to the ranch. How y'all like my little up and down, my little outfit? I know I look like a Roman, don't I? I mean like a uh, I ain't going to say what I look like. Anyway, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like, share, and even leave a comment. And remember, God is somebody you're supposed to worship, not man. And I want to know how y'all feel about me. If y'all love me, leave me a thumbs up. If y'all hate me, leave me a thumbs down. And that thumbs down means it's up to me because I know y'all thinking about me. Anyway. Enjoy the rest of your day. God bless you all. And God is worthy to be praised. And I mean that, y'all, in, in a good way. But if you don't know your name and you don't know your initial, what that rhymes with. Hello. Anyway, everybody, God bless you all. God bless you all.